going to go ahead and uh, show you this video real quick. All right. Oh, I did it. I, I didn't do it right the first time, but I did it. That's all that counts. Um, it wasn't breaking your eardrums or anything like that, which is good. Uh, that was that was priority number one for me. Um, what you saw there was the after, uh, basically after movie of Decay. Mm -hmm. um, how was it down there? Decay was a great event. Um, I would think that uh, the turnout this year a little bit less than last year, but um, get to meet a lot of new players, a lot of exciting things that uh, MegFed brings, and uh, actually there are a lot of um, there are quite a few MegFed players um, that just playing MegFed against the um, the Hoppers, and um, I think for MegFed wise it's a really good turnout, but for regular Hopper uh, players I think the turnout quite low this year. Which is a good thing, right? I mean, a lot of players is great, but if you're getting more MagFed players mm -hmm. at a at an open class game, that yeah. that sh definitely should be a good thing. Yes, it is. It is actually it's um it's quite um uh, it's great to see MagFed just you know doesn't matter what condition you're throwing at them, they just go in and play anyway. You know, so. It's it's a repeat for us every year. So if you guys think of going again next year, DK, we'll be there. Uh, what we have next is the Kilo Six Nine and Operation and More and possibly Snake Eater, uh, which is coming up, uh, which is going to be really cool. Um, really excited for Kilo Six Nine. This should be a really good one. Uh, see our East Coast guys over there and. Really see how the MagFed games really get get uh, get played. I mean, this is going to be a big event. Their media is on point. Um, well, actually, let's, let's we never did the introduction, right? So welcome to the MFW <laughs> show number thirty-four. Okay, so, <laughs> no, we're thirty-five okay. now. Thirty-five. Update it. Yeah, okay, so number, number thirty-five. Jonathan can correct that. So number thirty-five. Uh, welcome, everyone. We're all over the place. Yeah, we're get that introduction. I'm fighting a cold. My whole family's sick. 
<laughs> KT fell asleep at his desk today. <laughs> it's, I, it's I'm still, a... I'm still have not recovered from the uh, <laughs> from the K yet. It's, I oh mean, it's tired. It's really tiring going to this uh, event. Uh, people don't know how exhausting it is. You, you go to three days event, it takes you not three days to recover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it definitely does. Uh, you watch OE, the next video? OEW eight, um, Operation and War eight. So this is the eighth um, year, eighth annual event of uh, Operation and War. If you guys are in the West Coast somewhere, you gotta go to this event. It is on October um, twenty and twenty twenty twentieth and twenty ninth. So basically the next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend. Go to um, our website. You can search for it. just search OEW eight, and you can find the event. It's one probably the best event this year. There are a lot of uh, the local teams uh, are taking over. Um, Metric Legion, uh, I believe, uh, No Count Maniacs, and a few other teams put together. I mean, they actually combine effort to put an event together. And the proceeds um, going to the um, autism awareness. So they're basically not making any money from this. They put all their time, all their energy, all their resources. For you guys to have enjoyed the game, and if any money left from registration, it goes to an autism awareness. Um, I hope you guys can come out and play and support this really great event. Um, next year, we don't know where it's going to be next year, so this might be a chance to play at the uh, Snake um, Pit Training Center, um, which is you know it's an abandoned copper mine. It's raw. Uh, environment it's not a paintball field so you don't see any um, paint on the wall you don't see any paint on the floor, on the ground you get to play at a, at a place where it's a, a training center so for firearms and for the tactical um, <sighs> groups you have a chance check it out guys uh, all person and war eight all right Michael Grabato Joseph Rojas has all the information right. um, they can post a link here so that way you guys can find it Registration did go up, so make sure you register now so it doesn't go up again. I don't know if it's going to go up again, actually, but they're pulling out all the stops this year. They got, they're putting a lot of time, a lot of effort into this game. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. So if you are in the area or it's not too far for you to travel, go to that game. Right. Go to that game. They're going to have everything that you need there. There are going to be rentals there. KT and I will probably be there if I'm not at Snake Eater. Um, we'll have we, we, plenty we of trying, stuff. Yeah, we're trying to go together, but we'll have to split up. Uh, I have to be at the um, uh, in War 8, got to support that, and but I can't go to Snake Eater, so Jonathan might go there and kind of split up our our time, so I mean, split us up, so Divine Conquers to be, to have present at, at both of these great events, and we don't want to kind of, you know, promote um, that we, we all about MacFed and try to support the, the, the games, and when you guys have a, you know, an event and we're not there to support you guys so that's why i try and hit all these event to show a presence um if act for website wise um actually joseph bro has just posted that link there for you guys if you don't know the link just go to um uh, pb cal c a l dot com and uh, go to the event uh opposite war event page link there and then the link to register right there so check that out all right, so we have uh, one more video for you. Uh, try this again; it'll be two for two. Right. Um, this one is has to do with Operation N War Vietnam. All right, so let's go ahead. I'll show you that one right now. Um, video. This one. Change their caster. Yeah. This one is has to do with. All right. Modern Combat Sports presents OPW Vietnam. Experience the most realistic war game ever in the actual jungles of Vietnam. A paintball adventure like no other awaits. Participants deploy on a nine day adventure, including six days all inclusive of touring Vietnam. We take care of everything. 
From food to your hotel. Tour Hanoi. Tour Halong Bay. Tour the battlefields and museums that bring history to life. Enjoy the food, the culture, and the city life that make Vietnam a top travel destination. Then, prepare for the game of a lifetime. Travel light, because we provide everything you need for these games. Protective goggles, camouflage jacket, camouflage pants, loading magazines, magazine carriers, and the most realistic paintball launcher on the planet with all the paintball you need for the event. Modern Combat Sports presents the ultimate combat game with the most realistic combat simulation equipment in a truly authentic setting. This battle of a lifetime is the first of its kind. Join the battle with Modern Combat Sports. Come back from that video. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Victor. Like that one. This one. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I don't like I don't like videos. <laughs> All right, we're back. That's how Academy Awards are made. I'd say it again. I said it before, <laughs> but there was no audio, so obviously we don't know sound language, um, or else we would have done that. But uh, okay, so Operation End More Vietnam. Can you guys hear us now? Yeah, they should be here. Better, good. Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Um, Operation in more Vietnam. We are going to be promoting the hell out of this event. Um, we want you guys to all be a part of it. Um, you have plenty of time, uh, more than a year, um, to make your, you know, preparations. But there is a limit. Excuse me. That we talked about in the live stream last week. No, two days ago. No, two days ago. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Two days ago. Um about the deadline for you to register. And the reason for that is because uh, the what we're doing is we have to make all the accommodations, all of everything um, uh, ahead of time. So that way, when it's, the day comes or when it starts getting close, everything will be sent out, the packet, all that stuff, um, and you guys will be ready to go. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna get a ton of questions. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are uh, um, very excited about it. There are a lot of questions. Um, the first one's probably going to be, how do we bring our own gear? Um, we talked about it in the live stream. If you haven't heard it, you do not bring anything. You can bring your own gear, but you can't bring your markers. Okay. Unfortunately, um, exporting them out of the country is not a problem, but importing them into Vietnam is going to be a big problem. So uh, you cannot bring your own markers, but we will have everything that you need there as far as equipment to actually play um, you can bring your own you know plate carriers and things like that uh, but you just cannot bring your marker so let's get that one out of the way because there's gonna be a lot of people asking about that um, accommodations all that stuff uh, in the video those are actually some of the hotels correct all the pictures that you saw there are not from uh, a Vietnam tourist commercial those are actual places that uh, um, the actual place that you're gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. Which actually, those are the footage that the home, the, the accommodation provide to us, um, so that way we can put it in a video for you. So it's not something that we just take it from another location and put into 
that video is actually the location you'll be staying at. Depends on where. Um, the multiple hotels that we're gonna put you guys at, and multiple restaurants we're gonna put you guys at. The way it works, you have, it's a you know go not go around, but uh, there are different uh, groups stay at different locations. So not everyone gonna stay at the same hotel. So just too many people, of course. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so this this game is open to the world. Um, you, I'm sure that as we get closer to registration. There are going to be people from all over the world that are going to be participating in this. So um, you're going to have the opportunity to play against people from different countries, I'm sure. Um, you're going to get to experience a culture that you've probably never experienced before. Um, be in a country that is completely different here than the U.S., oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, in a good way, uh, of course. And um, I know that someone brought up during the live stream last time safety. Uh, safety, this place, Hanoi is one, actually one of the top tourist destinations uh, for anywhere in Vietnam. Um, so you can rest assured that uh, you will, this will be a safe place to go and play. We have, uh, KT has been working on this for the past 10 years and they have the support of the Vietnamese military and the government and also law enforcement. So. This is not just like something that's been put together by some guy that we don't know <laughs> that he's been talking to via a, uh, a public phone. You know, it's it's this is uh, he works hand in hand with the, the guys over there. Um, Brandon, he came here. He's a, I met him. He's an awesome guy. He's coordinating everything right now in Vietnam. Uh, that's where he lives. And KT was just there. So they're working. We're working. All of us are working hand in hand to make sure that everything's going to be perfect for when you guys get there. Going to get off the plane. We're going to get on the bus, go to the hotel, and have everything planned out. The itinerary is on the Operation Enmore, uh, OEWVN.com. Um, you can see everything there. You can now purchase tickets. Uh, we talked about um, MagFed Pro Shop is going to have tickets on their website. Um, anyone else going to have it? And some ambassador, you guys looking for um, a deal, um, look out for ambassador. Ambassador also have some code they can get you in a deal. So, you know, seek them out, and um, if you want to go, um, talk to those guys. They'll, they'll get you in. Uh, what else do we have uh, as far as questions that you think we may get? Question regarding um, OEW Vietnam. The, um, I think most of the question you guys have is um, on the booking side of it. So as soon as you guys register, um, within like 24 hours, we'll send out for you like the, the information you need for your itinerary, so how to book your air flight, where you need to get your flight into, and so on. So we're gonna, I mean, there's gonna be a team over there, kind of walk you through every step. You need them, you call them, they chat, and they take care of you. That's the beauty of doing, of having a band in a location where, I would say the cost of living is low. Uh, just be blind in a way where, so we can hire more people to do to cater to all your needs. That's why they have the 24/7 um, helpline. So uh, when you, as soon as you land it, we'll give you a SIM card for your phone. You plug your phone, you get 20 gig of data, you can be texting, you can be Facebook, you can chat, you can live if you go live stream you want to. And uh, you have access to um, your group leader or rep. They, you can call them anytime, 24 seven, and answer the question you have. You need, you need food in the middle of the night, they'll get you food in the middle of the night. You need to go somewhere, they'll take you there. So they'll okay to all your needs um, for the entire the, for the, the duration of the event. Keep in mind, guys, this is not just <laughs> uh, an, a game of a lifetime to play MagFed in a completely different country in the jungles of Vietnam, where uh, probably the Vietnam War was fought. Actually, uh, there's a lot of stuff around there. You, we're gonna the, one of the things on the itinerary there is the museum, right. which is really awesome. So, so let me touch base there a little bit, so you don't get just um, you don't get just the game, right? You get a little more of the culture, the history. You get a little more of everything. Why? Why the, the war was fought? How does it end? And so on, so on. So you get more, a little more detail in. It's an experience. The, the, the point is, it is an experience that we we'll put together for you. Um, Jet Lay was asking about uh, accommodation for people who just want to play only and people who just want to the tour only. If you guys want to bring uh, family members for just for the tour um, or just want to play, you, you get yourself there and just play, contact us and then we'll, um, we'll get that 
uh, for you. We'll give you the detail on that because we don't want to put too many, too much information on the site and get confusing really quick. Well, you know, what is this? What is that? Right. So if you want um, certain setup for yourself, just contact us and we'll give you details on how that um, individualized, right? So we'll give you all the details on that on an individual base. Um, yeah, so like I said, it, it's not just a game. This is a complete, this is a vacation. I mean, 100%. You're going to see some of the most beautiful places on the earth. Uh, there as well as experience a culture that, in my opinion, is amazing. Um, it, it's a it's a whole package. So definitely, you get to see see things that you have never seen um, anywhere else in the world, and you get to experience things that you probably would never experience anywhere else in the world. I would say that uh, if um, your growth um, would spark a little bit as far as able to see the world in a different eyes and a different setting. And going with um, MCS, um, you get to go with a group with like-minded group, and you share your you have a common or something common where you already played a sport that we like, and you get to experience that together. Now you get to meet new people and spend a week with them. I I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, this is definitely going to be an experience. <laughs> you're going to get <laughs> this is a life experience adventure. Like you're yep. going to come back yeah. with a whole out different outlook on life whole, definitely whole new perspective about it's, about not just about um the game itself but about life about the world about um different culture yeah definitely one of the places on the itinerary because someone said uh, oh javier gonzalez said we're gonna see rambo we are gonna see where they filmed kong skull island yes. we actually get to go to one of the locations that they filmed that movie which is so weak right so put that in your pipe and smoke it yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so, I mean, overall, guys, it's going to be an awesome event. Um, really consider it. I mean, this, like I said, we our, our goal is to make this a, an annual thing, but this is a really the first event to test the waters. This is where we got to really uh, put an impression in with the government, the military, law enforcement. Like, there's a lot riding on this. This is a big, uh, big opportunity for not just us, but their country. So this is a big thing. It's not just uh, you know you're gonna go play paintball um, at, in a different in a different side of the world in the jungle. <laughs> you you're gonna experience a lot of different things. You're going to be a part of their culture for nine days, uh, the lifestyle there, everything, and yeah. then of course you get to play paintball in the jungle for three days, which is awesome. And you get to travel with people you know, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Especially another thing I want to point out is that this event will. Um, put a little bit of lamplight on our sports because you know, this has never been done before and this is like one of those things where can, you can people talk about it. it may not do it but people talk about it and get people to talk about it recognize what we do the sport that we're participating i think it will help the overall uh give our sport a little bit of a you know a spike so hopefully that will get more interest of uh, players to come out on the field try it play it so you know grow yeah, share this, share the page, share the event because this is not just for MagFit players. This is for paintball in general. This is the, this is just the opportunity for someone to go to a different country <laughs> and play a sport in the jungles there. Like that's that's kind of just the overall thing. So right. don't don't just think of it as a MagFit only type of thing. This is for everybody. This is an event for an experience of a lifetime. Someone is going to take a lot from this. We all are. <laughs> um, I'm excited for it. I mean, yeah. every aspect of it. Uh, the flight, I mean, everything. So think of it from that perspective. Um, tell your friends, tell your family. Uh, you have a year. Persuade them. <laughs> persuade them, yeah. You have a year uh, to uh, to get ready. Um, when was the deadline that we said? The deadline for June, registration right? is June 15th. So that's like the, the deadline. But there's an early registration. You have to register by uh, April 15th that will give you the early um, um, registration price and then from June to May I'm sorry April to May that would be like late cost you like 400 bucks more and then after May it's like five thousand dollars so I don't want you guys to register in the last minute last month there the reason why we offer that because if you guys you know for those last minute person we don't want you to register that late that because we the earlier you do to allow us to plan ahead on like that day we gotta we have to plan out all your meal we have to plan out every single night that you stay for every person and you know we have to plan for every seat um on the the tour bus for you so that is you know a hundred people that's a hundred <laughs> little um 
uh, action we have to take and making sure that there's enough staff to accommodate everything for you. You have to make sure your markers ready, your clothing, because you have to get your size, because you have to make sure what your size will, because we'll provide all that for you. Uh, we'll provide shirt, I mean, jacket and pants for you. Um, so we have to make sure we have that for you when you show up. Like I said, we're, my, 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 my favorite uh, explanation is that just show up with your short, your tank top, and your flip-flop if you want to play flip-flop. But you can, you know. But Make sure you wear a Hawaiian shirt and have the sunscreen <laughs> on your nose, too, because that way the Vietnamese people definitely know you're not from there, and uh, that's going to get you a lot That's going to get you a lot of attention. So just just be ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see here. <laughs> I'm not going to be dressed as Tarzan. I never told anyone that. I said if the weather was right, I, dude, I got fair skin. You can't expect me to go up in the trees out there. It's very humid. You get sunburn. You don't. You don't want to see that, dude. That's that's a tough day for me, definitely. Um, but like I said, share this event. Tell your friends, your family, other paintball players. It doesn't matter if they play with Hopper or Pump. It doesn't matter. This is an experience. This is going to give people the opportunity to travel and play paintball, which is not really something that a lot of people can do, honestly. So be ready for it. We're going to be, like I said, promoting it every week. We're going to have new videos, new commercials that are going to be displayed all around the world. Uh, like I said, this isn't just for you guys. So you're going to see, um, you're going to be, when you show up there, if you, if this is something that you do, you're going to be playing against people from all around the world, people from Vietnam, neighboring countries, etc. So this is an open type of deal. Um, a lot of people have been asking, airfare is included in that price, correct? Airfare is not included oh, in that price. Not included. Yeah. Okay. So the reason why we're not included because the logistic of flying from where you are to the location, it's going to be very tough. So you pick the best um, flight that you want to choose and just fly there. And we'll once you give you um, your itinerary, and as soon as you land the airport, someone will escort you, take care of you. And from there on, you have to lift a finger. That's it. There you go. So that that cleared that up. Um, it that should it's on the itinerary, right? Itinerary. Or the re registration. Is, okay. That the airfare is not included. The airfare it didn't say that it's not included, so you have to assume that it's not included. It just it's saying that everything's included. It didn't, didn't say anything about air flight. Okay. Yeah. So itinerary is what you'll be experiencing right. when you're there. You you do need to make your accommodations right. for. Uh, the flight there. Um, let's see here. Moving forward, uh, we've got an auction gun for you guys today. The 468 CQB. We haven't auctioned off a 468 in a long time. Uh, you got a, uh, this is a refurbished uh, CTR stock with a slimline cheek riser. You have a T68 pistol grip um, instead of the 4681 standard uh, magwell here with the new magazine smooth insertion one piece upper receiver with the gen 2 javelin uh, seven inch uh, quad riz with the viper no this is the sidewinder um, night strike mm -hmm. uh, and bust uh, refurb flip ups I think one of them may be bent uh, this is a little loose but Looks decent. Um, M bus flip ups, lion claw barrel, six inch with the oh, this is a three inch. Six inch? No, no gotta be it? at least yeah, six is inch. Six inch? Yeah, okay. Six, yeah. six inch lion claw with the Noveski sound amplifier. That's a really sweet little thing. Yeah, this thing is really light too. Really, really light. So we'll start that off at two hundred. We're already at two ten with Felix Gonzalez here. I think it's the same one I used to open that photo. Uh, oh man, this thing is smooth. This is, that's this is uh, by the way, this is a 2017 model, okay guys? You got your javelin bolt in here too. It's 2017 model. Um, Alright, Sandiller 220, Gen Pack 250. Alright. Nice. Moving on to the Unicus gun. Uh, you guys saw a teaser of it. Some of you did um, at the live stream. I'm going to show it to you today. The video will be up tomorrow, and it will be for sale tomorrow. Um, we'll show you here. Uh, we also have a new product that we're going to re reveal to you guys today, um, which is on this gun. You'll get the first one. Uh, this is 
the Unicus. I haven't even thought of a name of it yet. Um, I wanted I wanted to call it the Alien versus Predator because it's so futuristic <laughs> lo- looking. Um, but I think I'm gonna I'll save the name for it tomorrow. You'll see it on the video. Uh, going from the rear, you got a UTG Pro. Uh, this is a compact, a super compact, super oh, compact, retractable. Uh, so it's literally this big. Um, it's very small. Oh, six inches long. Yeah, yeah. Firearms grade rubber texture here. UTG. Uh, this is uh, for a firearm. Uh, you have the Strike Industries polymer pistol grip. Very comfortable if you wear gloves. Has really unique um, texturing here. It has unique grooves. You have this is a PTR. So I didn't. I don't know if I had mentioned that during the live stream. This is a PTR uh, with a. Um, updated valve, the charging handle with latch, Gen 2 Javelin, one piece upper, A5 threaded. You have the Vism. I forgot what this is called, honestly. I think I think it's called the. Uh, it's got a weird name. Just go with Vism for now. Yeah, Vism something. I forgot what it's called. The P4 reticle. Something, something like that. Something. <laughs> you're gonna get a chart. You're gonna get a uh, carrying case uh, for this optic. This thing has a. It does have a P4 reticle, and this thing is very futuristic looking. Um, it's a bit heavy. That's probably the heaviest part of this marker. Um, it has a red and blue illuminated crosshair that you can switch between. Oh, it's sweet. It also has oh, yeah. uh, little demon eyes there um, that can be changed from red to white. Um, they're IR lights. You also have a key mod flashlight, 280 lumen with a pressure switch that's included in this. Uh, it is going on an ICS M-Lock uh, handguard, six inch. So these accessories do not are not on any rails. They're actually M-Lock accessories, or key mod accessories, I'm sorry. Um, not M-Lock, key mod accessories. So they go directly on key mod only. So you won't be able to use these for anything else. You have a Vism vertical. Um, this thing is really sweet. Uh, also a key mod attachment. So it's only for key mod handguards and rails. Uh, this, this reticle is going to be more than enough uh, for anyone shooting first strikes, especially since this is a CQB platform. Uh, this has great magnification. Uh, very easy to zero. Uh, you have your windage and elevation right here on the bottom on the dial, and then on the right hand side you have your um, your uh, your left and right there. You also have a night. Um, what is this called? I can't, I'm gonna. Mm. What's that? Night. Uh, night vision. No, no it's night. a night sight. There nice we go. Okay. Night sight on the top of it. So if for those of you that are, like I said, do that CQB, you're going to be able to really adjust with that night sight without having to use the optic for those close quarter situations. Your flip up sight is integrated into your top rail and handguard. So there's a button there. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's going to have a 14 inch one shot barrel. Um, if I can find one, the I think I, I have one around here somewhere. If we so, find one, it's probably the last one we have. Yeah. Uh, if not, then that's a that's it's that um lion claw. That is lion claw. So I'll have that. Then the the highlight of this bad boy is the new OSP suppressor, full metal. Uh, this will have some different options for customization that will allow you to achieve different lengths. Uh, this one is, like I guess I use a 14 inch barrel here, so you're gonna have superb accuracy with shape projectiles uh very decent consistency with round ball but i didn't want to put any make a cqb setup where you had to sacrifice that uh for the lower for the smaller barrel so you're going to have very 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 good consistency here uh this is the uh what do you call this mercury, mercury. version so mercury it's, color. A, it's a like a matte silver with the black here uh this is full metal so this is not you know, 3D print, nothing. Um, this is full metal, and it threads right at the end of your barrel. And they'll, I'll show you, and we'll show you in a video mm -hmm. how to adjust that and right. how to install it on right. your on your marker for those of you that want it separately. Yeah. So there'll be a 22 millimeter option and a 7 8 option, right? Correct. So if you have a hammerhead, a lapco barrel, you can just get the um, 
the, um, the the muzzle for it that's go inside and you can adjust it um, or you, I think you know what we probably each package probably come with two right I would have not determined yet so we come with two you just select either one that you want to use rather than trying to make it different so we're gonna um, each unit will come with two different muzzle for you so you can go with any barrel you want any type of barrel so it works any type of barrel uh, what? go ahead Oh, someone asked, will the suppressor be on sale by itself? Yes, that's this is the first one. So whoever <laughs> picks up the Unicus is going to have the first one. Um, first production, first production one. one. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Rojas has the prototype version. Um, he's been rocking that thing, and we've gotten a lot, a lot of uh, demand <laughs> for it. Um, so we are finally making the announcement, uh, but this will be the first one. <laughs> this will be... Available tomorrow, the PTR. Uh, like I said, I'll have a name for it tomorrow too. But this thing is very, very compact. Um, it's pretty light. Not one of the not one of the lightest ones that I've done. But the optic is the heaviest part of this whole thing. Um, everything else is extremely, extremely light. Uh, the ICS handguard is really light. Offspring is really light. Um, and then you have your vertical here, which is really nice. So. Um. Chris Kell was asking the buffer tube on on, our, on the PTR. They are mil spec, not commercial spec. So you, if you're going to use uh, a butt stock, you need to get the um, mil spec version. The, actually, mil spec is smaller than commercial. So if you can get a commercial stock, you're good, but not way around, right? <laughs> so um, that's why we kind of before we have the buffer tube as uh, commercial specs. That's why uh, mil spec doesn't fit. So now we are reasonable about a year ago we changed the buffer tube to um, to mil spec so you can use both mil spec and commercial um, stock and will still fit. All right. All right. So this uh, yeah this, we're looking about maybe two more weeks before this OPS suppressor come out. So if you guys are looking for one, um, wait for it. It's uh, and it will come with two uh, adapters. Um, then uh, those two adapters allow you to attach a 22 mm barrel or attach the 7 8th um. all right sorry i'm gonna go back to the page here is lagging really bad um, right yes yeah, so no question on the uh unicus uh, marker here until uh <laughs> until jonathan comes with a name for it you, you just go on unicus. <laughs> i think i think i'm gonna call it the avp the okay. alien versus predator i think that's a v really... avp unicus avp unicus there we go um so like I said, this is definitely a very futuristic look uh, for those of you that want something that's really going to stand out on the field. Um, I haven't seen any of these accessories used on any MagFed marker, um, so this is definitely going to be one of the one of the uh, standout ones. And of course, like I said, it's a PTR serial number 46. So uh, for those of you that want to know, serial number 46 is uh, this PTR. Um, so it'll be available tomorrow at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the blog page. So you guys will be able to see that um, and be able to purchase it if you are willing, if you're up for it, if you can handle it, <laughs> you can, you'll be able to get it. So that's a beautiful, that's, like I said, that's one of the best built that um, Jonathan put together. All right, let's go back really quick here. You guys were auctioning back and forth um, on the uh, on the 468 a little bit here. So this is 468 you're auctioning right now. Uh, I think uh, Jet Lay Jet Lee <laughs> Jet Lay got um, the, uh, the the 260. I mean 360 uh, comes with the seven inches uh, wrist handguard. I mean handguard um, six inches barrel with Norvesky sound amplifier, Helix magazine. Um, CTR, no, MOE, uh, but stock. You're pretty much set. Actually, it's a really good, uh, good belt. Uh, so, uh, the John Miles, you have the T4. This is or the S4 UDG on your T68. Uh, Stan Dillard, yes, it will. Um, so I gotta get that barrel nut off. <laughs> he an AR wrench. Uh, let's see here. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I really like the UTG, the S4. 
um, super slimline, super light. Too. Actually, uh, Jet Lake got the 280, went 380. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. Oh, okay, there yeah. we go. Yeah. All right. Stay so, on it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Usually Val helps us out on that, but. Um, so it'll be available tomorrow. You'll see the price. There'll be, I'm going to do a shooting test mm -hmm. in the morning or a shooting demo in the morning. Right. Uh, I'm going to show you how well it performs. Uh, well, I do have some first strikes actually. Mm -hmm. So I'll do a mag of first strikes for you guys, uh, to show you how well it feeds. Very functional piece. Everything on here is, should be good to go for quite a while. I, I couldn't imagine anyone taking anything off of this thing. I mean, it's, it's ready to go. Um, I had a, a Gilroy PD, um, SWAT guy in here earlier, and he's like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> and he was like, this is a paintball gun? I go, yeah, man, this is a paintball gun. He goes, you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> he's like, I would shoot somebody because of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but he couldn't, he couldn't believe it. And, you know, he loved the, the PTR lower. He said that is very – he had his real AR actually in here. Side uh, to side. Side to side, and he was like, Wow. Uh, I don't know really what's <laughs> difference. Press the trigger. Uh, he pulled the trigger on his AR. He pulled the trigger on here. He said that's very awesome. He said that's really cool for a training perspective. So uh, that's that's really that's really a kind that's, of a cool that, thing. That is the magic in the PTR. If you, that's if you, by by any account on on uh, what it is and what you look in, in the system you're looking for. That is it. Yeah, the trigger system and there's a lot of you guys in here that have the ptr mm -hmm. that absolutely you know messaged me over the weekend from decay right. uh, the guys at sas arizona they're like wow uh, this is awesome so i really appreciate that feedback um i really think that you know this we have something here and until you get one in your hands until you fire it <laughs> until you really play with it you'll never understand and that's uh that's something that i really treasure because i think you know anyone that says, oh, I have the best car or anything like that, you know, right. how are we going to know if we don't drive it? You right. know, like what, what really classifies the best <laughs> That's car? That's true. So if you have the opportunity to get your hands on a PTR, do it. Get your hands, any, go play any, a game. Anyone who has one would love to let you fondle with it a little bit for, you know, to take it back. So just ask. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Jimmy Westman, uh-oh, uh, 410 here. So, oh, no, Jet Li. Um if I buy a complete billet, will I get the future upgrades for free? John Miles, only the complete marker gets the the upgrades for free, unfortunately. So the billet um, is just the billet doesn't get the upgrades, right? It doesn't get upgrades. Yeah, we want to get you the whole gun, and the reason why we did is so we know what to expect and keep it consistent. Um, that's that's what um, we said it before. So. If you want us to uh, do a combination for you, just message me and we'll see if we can do something for you. Yeah, John Miles, message me and or, or KT, we'll see what we can we can get going for you. Yeah. Um, if I said 550 you follow, you really want it? Uh, <laughs> remember, guys, if if you're putting a bid down, this is this for real bid. Don't uh, don't pull it off like we had an <laughs> incident before where. <laughs> These guys were going neck and neck, and you know the wives got involved and shut the whole operation <laughs> down. So uh, <laughs> the wife would come knock on the door yeah. and pull up right <laughs> <in> the <day. laughs> Just uh, just keep that in mind. Um, Enola Gaze are back in stock uh, in the shop. We got some new EG18 colors: uh, yellow, orange. We got the black ones, some blue. We got a, a huge mix. Uh, we also have the standard ones. Um, uh, back in stock the mp40s um so if you guys are local and you're looking for smoke grenades we got them we got a ton of them uh come on in and see me and uh, i'll take care of you uh one thing i wanted to take a few minutes to talk about real quick um i meant to do this in the beginning of the show but uh we want to really um send our condolences to anyone that knew someone or uh was possibly involved in the Las Vegas uh, tragedy that happened this past weekend. Um, my brother was there uh, and uh, a, a, a lot of good friends of mine were there and uh, you know they're pretty pretty distraught from the whole thing. Um, it's terrible, terrible tragedy. Um, so if any of you guys know 
anyone that was involved, make sure you send, you know, send a helping hand out there, ask them if they want to talk because, you know, for someone that's going to Vegas, first off is uh, you never go to Vegas to, to experience things like that. Um, you always, you know, you go to Vegas to have a good time and pretty much escape reality. Right. And for that to happen in a setting like that, uh, let alone Vegas, I, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine um, how traumatizing you know it is going to stay with that person for quite a long time. Um, you know, like I said, I, I had some people that were I w- that I know um, personally that I'm very very close with that were there, um, and you know they they haven't been able to really open up about it. Um, I also had someone that I've met. Uh, she was one of the victims there, uh, Candace Bowers. Um, so, you know, her family is, uh, very, very devastated right now. Um, I, I guess I, I can't imagine anything, uh, to experience anything like that. You know, when I, when I know my brother, when I knew my brother was there and I woke up and I saw all that stuff, I, I called, tried to call him right away and thank goodness he answered right away. Uh, let me know that he was okay. So, uh, man, this world, a lot of a lot of bad things happen sometimes. But I think uh, to see the unification of the community of Las Vegas and then the, just how it's touched people all around the world um, has been really, really uh, heartfelt, um, very inspirational. So I just wanted to uh, I want to bring that up. I know there's a lot of people talking about it. Can't can't really forget something about like that um but i wanted to reach out to any of you guys that were possibly knew someone that were involved uh my condolences and prayers to any of you guys that were experiencing that so thank uh, you jonathan well said uh moving forward um is there any questions uh for regarding anything that we've talked about on the show so far operation and war vietnam um operation and war Eight, remember, guys. Joseph Rojas put in the uh, comments here the website or the event page on Facebook. Make sure you register. It, it's a lot easier. It's really good for people to pre-register for events, so that way the promoters and everything know exactly what they're going to be dealing with, right. so they can accommodate their personnel, adjust game uh, gameplay if they need to, etc. So make sure you pre-register. Um, Joseph Rojas is a guy to talk to, Michael Grabato, Jim Pock, um, Michael Lovato. He was on, um, I don't know if Bradley's still in here from Maritime Millicent Show. I forgot to say uh, shout out to you, my friend. Um, but he had Mike on there this week on Monday. Um, so he, Mike was given a lot of uh, teasers and a lot of information about that event. So if you want to look, make sure you head over to the Maritime Millicent Show uh, page on Facebook and they, were, uh, they will help you there. Yeah. Uh, John Miles, the new product is the off-speed suppressor. So you see the first one here, uh, and then the other ones will be available um, here very shortly. So you will have uh, the off-speed suppressor that will be compatible with 7.8 um, 7, barrels, threads, and then also 22 millimeter. It comes with so. both the adapters. Oh, we're going oh, to give them both? Yeah, both okay. adapters. So um, you can have any barrel you want. Any any barrel that that, that pretty much covers all the barrels in the in the industry, right? So you have seven eight threads or twenty two mil threads. One of those will work on you on that for you. Rondell Khan, I will have PTRs at Kilo Six Nine. Yeah. So um, if you are in the market for one, I'm gonna have some built up options there, different from the stock ones, that uh, I they will be up for grabs at that event for sure. Um, I'm actually gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah. So. Behind me, behind us, uh, you can't see. Not this way, but actually in front of yeah. us, behind <laughs> you, uh, is uh, how we're going to set up the event. So it'll be it'll be a good one. We'll have a lot a lot of stuff for you guys there. Um, John, let's let's end the auction at five five forty five forty in six minutes. Six so minutes. Six uh, minutes six to minutes make to your there. auction last chance. Oh hi Tom, how are you doing? Tom Gillanders, my uh, brother-in-law. Oh there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> so this is it. Um, you, you auction off of four six eight. Right now, the you know, top hitter is Jet Lay. Um, yes, on a bit four, you have six minutes to do so, and uh, hope you guys win it. Uh, yeah, that's a Magpul kind of blow uh, 
build. Mac yeah, Magpul CTR, cheek cheek riser. This comes off if you don't want it there. Um, M bus front and rear, and then you have the uh, Night Strike um, Sidewinder vertical or um, uh, foregrip, and then your uh, what is it? The Noveski sound amplifier and okay. This is a 2017 model. Okay, guys, has javelin bolt in here, uh, one piece upper. So, just to let you know that, um, if you're gonna look into the inside. The one thing that someone brought up that I spoke to over the weekend about the Noveskis with the Lion Claw barrel. Okay, the, and I'm talking specific, <laughs> specifically the three five or we have, we have five inch. Well, no, three, three five six eight. Yeah, three five so. six and eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a significant difference in sound amplification from those four barrels than when you jump up to 10, 12, 13, uh, 10, 12, 14, and 16. Um, and that's strictly because you obviously the the, tra the travel of the projectile is yeah. a lot less. It's loud. Uh, it is very loud. <laughs> uh, one person actually got a lion call three inch and he's like, holy shit, people know exactly where I'm shooting from every time. Um, so... Keep that in mind. If you guys are getting um, the shorter length barrels for these, um, with the, with the, the bell ring here, <laughs> yeah, with the with the recessed looks, which looks really awesome. I love the recessed looks on with the Noveski. Um, just keep in mind, it's going to be loud. It is definitely going to be loud. Um, I never really, you know, never really saw or heard it mm -hmm. because I was always putting on longer barrels. But now that we have those short ones, holy crap! It is definitely. If you were trying to sneak around a field, do not buy <laughs> the Noveski sound amplifier with that small of a barrel. That's what it does. For Amplify sure. sound. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, it's loud. It's, oh, man. It's almost like a machine gun. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, it does. Very, very, uh, <laughs> very aggressively. Um, one thing I want to tell you guys, too, or we both want to tell you, we do are going to be putting on the long-range conversion kits for the Tip X. We brought some of those in. Uh, we're going to do a build uh, with the Tipex with it already installed. So we'll have a Tipex for sale that will have that long range conversion kit. So right now we only have three. We'll put it up on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, Val, I think, was working on that. Um, I'm going to use one. So we only have two left. So if you guys want one of those, or you're looking for that, we have the Tipman version uh, long range conversion kit for the Tipex. So you guys can be shooting first strikes out of those, out of those bad boys. So I don't know why we never carried those earlier, but. We we, well, they, they, we they were never stable. Um, I know um, what's that? Those guy from uh, Kill Badlands. House. Oh, Kill, Kill House, House yeah. has one of the the block, but was not stable. Customer people are saying that doesn't fit and have installation problem. And then uh, Tipman released theirs, but we still hear that it doesn't fit. Even the one we just got just now um, that we just received a day ago, we open it up and we drop a, a first strike around in and. It, it doesn't go through a breach. Yeah, yeah. You literally have to push it through. So the magazine wouldn't have to push it over. So you're gonna install the kit. You have to actually get a file and open up the uh, the breach a little bit before the round can get into the chamber. You gotta test it out a little bit before. So I think it's, it's stable enough now where we actually carry it and um, people can actually enjoy it as opposed to carrying something that it doesn't work well and you know you get bad reviews, bad rep. We don't want to do that. Yeah. So and and once again, guys, the you can't expect people or manufacturers to keep re to you know re-engineering their product because of the round inconsistencies. So we've talked about that before on the D mags. We talked about it before with different. Um, <clears throat> there's different problems. You know, Doug Brown you know did a video for Milsig regarding feeding with the first strikes right. uh, on the new mags. So until they can get a handle on that, if at all, um, you know you're just going to have to learn to be a little bit more. Uh, tinker minded uh, when you get to these types of products to make them work and it, it is significantly longer so we have some old silver rounds um on a counter we just drop the bridge boing 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 no problem and we take a new one the, the kind of the gold the green and smoke one we drop in and boom, stop it right? just literally just do not want to go in you got to press it down kind of remove some material kind of scrape some material off before it drops to the chamber so that's something you look at. Not all rounds are the same, so um, pay attention to that when you load rounds into the magazine or into the chamber. Kind of test it out. Know what you're shooting. All right, so we're getting a one minute left here on the auction. Uh, Jimmy Westman, you'll see the price tomorrow, my friend. I can't give you any. Uh, <laughs> can't give anyone any any teasers there. 
Um, the Unicus is becoming a quite a. Uh, I might have to spread them out a little bit more. There's a lot of people that um, are that wait for it. Like honestly, I get a lot of messages, people connecting with me on Facebook that really want to uh, <laughs> really want to know what the the Unicus gun is going to be. All right, so 540. Jet Lay, congratulations, congratulations yeah, my that's friend. A good, that's a good deal there. Uh, message me, and mm-hmm. I'll get you the invoice over, and we'll we'll get that yeah. uh, shipped out for you. Get two magazines, one Helix, one uh, Shape Projectile D Mag. Right. Okay. Um, and and, and if you want any uh, requests, we can actually add on the top of for you. Um, like you want to change the air tank, we can actually charge you for it. I mean, you just pay for the air tank, and we'll swap out with a version with a tank and stuff. Um, so it's not like just if you want to keep the stock is fine, but you want to air in stock, then you pay for air tank and we'll send you one with the air tank in stock. Uh, let's see here. Someone asked before um, progression on the pistol and the Hydra. Uh, the Hydra, uh, we're making some very good progression mm-hmm. uh, moving forward. Uh, right now, the the only thing that's posing an issue is the feeding of first strikes, and that's just because, like we talked about. Some are longer, some are wider, um, so we have to learn or try to adapt the Hydra to be able to accommodate for right. those different things. For our projectile and round ball, flawless, no problems. Um, so right now we're moving forward. The pistol, what are we? Pistol still going, still going. We're still you know, making updates to it, um, adding more features to it before we can actually go to production. That we're still testing the different function on that. The rounds, though, the rounds actually moving to a different direction. So I can't tell, I can't give you details on that. Um, probably about another, maybe late next month when I hold the version, the first uh, new uh, design version in my hand. I kind of changed the uh, the manufacturing process on that to see if I can make it for less and get it out. So. Um, I'll, just, I'll tell that more on that when the time comes, but I kind of changed how how we're gonna make them, and I think this is gonna be it. We're gonna be able to have it out soon. Um, we're very excited to have this version come out, and I'm starting to we start to make the tooling, the mold for it, and able to reject these um, the shell for it. Yeah, I dream about it every night. <laughs> I can't I can't disclose the the details of those dreams. Some are inappropriate and some are appropriate. <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to know about those, you can get at me at a later time. <laughs> the shotguns. The shotguns are here. Uh, they're currently being investigated by our lovely United States government uh, border patrol. So, um, or in, uh, import Custom. yeah, customs. So we should have those uh, in the next week or two, hopefully. Um, I don't I don't foresee any issues considering that this is a complete redesign. The first ones. Yes, there would probably been a big problem uh, if they were if they knew what they were looking for. But uh, these ones, I think, will be will be good to go, and we will have those on the show. We will probably make the announcement on the show. Right. I don't want to do anything. Uh, the PPQs should be touching down here in the U.S. this week, mm-hmm. so we will hopefully um, have our order within the next week or so. Mm-hmm. Probably it only takes three to four days. To once we, once they give us a ship date, mm-hmm. so um, shotguns will we'll have both. Um, we'll also be doing uh, quite a, a a good media thing. We'll be shooting a bunch of them. We got a bunch of all all um, models of the shotguns will be here. Right. That that um, the company is offering. We'll have a couple of each. So we will have pricing and all that for you guys. Uh, the design, how they work. The distance, everything we're gonna we want to do that in a video to have so for reference you guys can go back to and see that. Um, the PPQs, uh, 43 cal, you guys will have those as well. Like I said, we want to do some some media behind that. We want to learn about the the new upgrade um, as well. They're like I said, they're not in the U.S. yet. The first ones are arriving here uh, in so the, on the U.S. Way this here. week. So it's on the way from uh, the manufacturer to the states. Yeah. Uh, other than that, um, I don't got anything else for you. You got anything else? That's pretty much it for me, too. Well, we said a lot today, and I hope you guys um, have heard most of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, Jimmy, I will uh, message you after the show here, mm-hmm. and uh, I'll see you guys out on the field.
thank you guys for watching and we hope to see you at the uh, an event there's gonna be a lot of them this uh coming couple weeks that's so right we'll see you out there see you guys later